Hey guys, what is up? This is Gatorades, and today we are going to be reviewing a flavor that has been on the list for an extremely long time. I've never reviewed it on Twitter, I've never reviewed it on my channel, but today is the day. Today's big day, guys. Big day. The flavor that I will be reviewing is the infamous the infamous Glacier Freeze. So guys, this Gatorade flavor, everybody knows this Gatorade, this Gatorade flavor. If you don't even know what Gatorade is, you know what this flavor is. It's the blue Gatorade, guys. Guys, this is the most common Gatorade flavor. You see someone in a convenience store, they're buying Glacier Freeze. There's like a 99% chance they're just buying Glacier Freeze because this is, this is, this is the Gatorade. This is Gatorade's flagship, if that makes sense. So let's give it a shot. Now guys, I have to be honest, I think I've had this Gatorade flavor probably 10,000 times. This is probably my 10,000 and first Glacier Freeze Gatorade. I already have an opinion on it, but I am going to be, I'm going to scrutinize the shit out of this. Well, I'm going to scrutinize the hell out of this. Well, in reality, we're just going to see how how it measures up now that I've tasted every single other Gatorade flavor. And that's right, I've tasted every single... Now, here's one Gatorade flavor I haven't... Guys, I have to be honest with you, I've tried every flavor of Gatorade, I've tried every flavor of G2, but someone, someone messaged me on Twitter, I think his name's Dom, so he messaged me on Twitter, and there was a picture of a Gatorade, and it said Gatorade Organic. I've never even seen those Gatorades, guys. So if you know anything about those Gatorades, comment, comment, comment. Tell me where to find those Gatorades. Because I've never even seen... I go to ShopRite. I go to Walmart. I go to convenience stores. I can't find... Where is this organic Gatorade? It said lemon. The flavor was lemon. I'm curious, guys. So let me know. If you know, let me know. Comment. And while you're at it, like and subscribe. Because, you know, that helps the channel, that helps me, then I can finally buy more Gatorades. Guys, these Gatorades aren't cheap. I'm running out of money, I need money, I'm about to start a GoFundMe to buy Gatorade. Do you understand? Guys, I'm in college, I'm a college kid, I'm poor. Let I need some support on the channel. Now, you know, we've gained some subscribers, we've gained some likes, we've gained some views. Those are all great things, guys, but come on, we need more. We need more or else this can't this has to stop. Now, you guys want to know my opinion on Glacier Freeze, right? So, let's just dive right in. Okay, so let's just first analyze the flavor profile. So, it's sweet, it's artificially sweet, but it's good artificial sweetener. It's not, it's nothing that makes me want to gag. There are two primary flavors. It's not like the sour is more than the sweet. The, the sour is equal to the sweet. It, it tastes different than when I used to have it as a kid. They may have, t they may, I'll tell you what, I think Gatorade probably changed the flavor a little bit. Just ever so slightly, you know, over time. The people who keep getting this, they're drinking it, you know, somewhat frequently. If Glacier Freeze is your go-to, you probably wouldn't have noticed the change. I haven't had Glacier Freeze in years. Years. So this, this tastes like a different Glacier Freeze to me. Similar, but different. It's really refreshing. That's the number one thing about this. It's it's just that refreshing, refreshing flavor. That that I understand why this is people's go-to, because... It, it, oh, you're thirsty, you need a refreshment. It's literally a refreshment. Literally a refreshment. Does that, that make sense, right? So, honestly, guys, this Gatorade, this Gatorade flavor, it's... It's sour, sweet, refreshing. It's quick, to the point. The aftertaste does not bother me. Overall, this flavor is really good, guys. This, this is, this is the go-to Gatorade. There, there is no doubt about it, but sometimes, you know, people just want more. You get sick of the same. You get sick of the same. Now, this is what I was saying in the last video. 
you can't just sit there and do the same exact things every day of your life. You're going to be miserable. Do something different. Change it up. But I already talked about that, so we're not going to talk about that. Instead, we're going to talk about some stuff that happened to me yesterday. Yesterday, I was walking back from class 7, around, actually it was around 9 p.m. 9 p.m., I'm walking back from class, and it is freezing cold, guys. I live I live in uh, central northern New Jersey. The, North, North Jersey would call it central, South Jersey would call it north. Regardless, I live in New Brunswick they it's freezing cold it's sub it's sub freezing and i'm just walking and i'm just like shit 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 gotta get home gotta get home so and, and i noticed something on the ground i'm like I'm like what is what, what are they? it's someone's keys so i'm i'm just like holy crap i, I go and i pick it up and I, i'm looking around i don't see anyone and this is at this is at the intersection of a this is a pretty busy intersection that I'm at. The keys are on the sidewalk, right at the cross section, and I'm just like, who, what, like, holy crap! I pick up the keys, and it, it they look like it's a Ford. The so it's a car key, and on top of that, it looks like it's a house key and a room key. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, someone doesn't have their car keys someone doesn't have their their house keys or their room keys it's below freezing and i don't know and i don't know there's no one around i mean like what do, what do you even do in that situation you're just like uh someone's screwed and i'm aware of it and now i can't help anyone it sucked so you know i basically because the keys were dead middle of the sidewalk i didn't want someone malicious to come up and just like snag them so like i kind of put them on like this side it's hard to describe but like it's out of sight unless you're looking for it so if, if somebody if the person came back and was like looking they, they would have found it but like someone just walking like myself wouldn't have just like stumbled upon it and uh you know so i walked past that intersection again today to get to my other class and they were gone so you know something good happened or something bad happened and and you know you just have to pretend that something good happened otherwise you know oh god no no something good happened i'm sure of it but yeah gatorade i do want to talk about something else something else that i just think is uh is really really entertaining now you know i'll never bring i'll never bring politics to this channel um, this just isn't the place for it. This is a place for Gatorade reviews, but I will make, I will make one comment about, um, about some of the stuff that I see going on. I think that it's so funny that the, that the Dakota Access Pipeline stuff is just now getting, uh, getting exposure in the mainstream media. Cause in reality, th this, guys, this issue this issue has been going on literally for months for months and just now like like the middle of december all of a sudden it's a it's an important deal now all of a sudden and it's so funny to me because it's like no one cares unless it's on the mainstream media and it's just like why do we even have like holy crap People, people have literally been going through this shit for months, months, and it's just, and now that it gets exposure, now it's an important issue. It's, it's like, it's like we just choose what, what, what is important and what isn't. And if the media doesn't cover something, then it's not important. It's almost like, well, you know what? We'll just cut it off right there. I just wanted to say that I think that that's funny. And I want to know what you guys think about that stuff too. So, you know, talk about it. Talk about it with your... Talk about it with your people. In reality, I just have nothing to say. I, I, I have absolutely nothing to say on the matter. Um, besides that, you know, like I, like I said before, this world can be a very sad place. This world can be a very, very sad place sometimes, but, um, you just have to do everything you can to fight against that. 
I mean, you can sit there and choose to be a bystander, but at the end of the day, you're just going to be miserable. You can sit there and let the world pass you by, but not only are you going to miss opportunities to be a good person, but you're going to miss opportunities to educate yourself. You're going to miss opportunities to to help others. And you're going to miss the opportunity to to be happy. The channel's doing great, guys, and it's all thanks to- I just really want- I want to thank everyone. If you show this video to your friends, if you show this video to, to anyone, you spread it, you link it places, you are my hero. You are- you are insane. I love you. So guys, like, subscribe, share, comment. Make response videos, I don't know. Respond to me, do something, let's go. Like, I love you guys. You guys are the whole reason why I keep doing this. So keep it up. Alright guys. I have to go to class. Um, it is my last class of the semester. So I'm feeling great about that. Sorry, I saw some dogs. Yeah, dude, there's some there are two dogs out there. They're having fun. Alright, so I gotta go guys. Um I'll see you guys uh, next episode.